This is the beginning of my WTF series that could go on endlessly. Did you know that we have about 1,500 Central Americans walking right across Mexico on their way to the border to cross into the United States? And they're so happy. No doubt going to California. Going to that sanctuary state. Isn't it great? Is Mexico stopping them? Nope. Not at all. So, I guess Mexico has an open border. Right? It must. Because it's allowing all of these Central Americans, Guatemalans, uh, I think the majority are, yeah, the majority are from Honduras. Mexico says, hey, come on. Come on through. Because we know that you're not going to be stopping here. We know you want to go to that open border right into the United States because you know that you can find protection in a sanctuary state or city and we'll pay you because we have so much money here and Americans are doing so well the economy is doing better why not help out all of those people who are less fortunate come on guys right we don't have Americans here who are less fortunate. No. But don't worry, guys. Don't you worry. I'm showing the, you, you this. There are videos that you can watch. They don't seem to have much fear, do they? Come on. Come on in. Look at this guy. <laughs> okay, well, don't worry. Trump is on it. The military is heading for the border. Really? Let's see what happens. Will the military be able to stop 1,500 Central Americans, the majority from Honduras? We'll see. Now, our military certainly could stop that. Our border patrol agents could stop it. We've got laws. Hell, if we just enforce them, that could stop it. Isn't this such a dramatic country? We've become such drama queens. You gotta wonder why this is happening. Right? Since we do have laws that, well, that existed for a long period of time and prevented these kinds of caravans from other countries just hey let's let's just walk through Mexico to get to the United States because the laws at one point were enforced we don't need a wall we don't need more laws we just need to enforce the laws that we used to enforce. Oh, Carol, you're just so crazy. We've got to send the military. All right. Um, moronic condom snorting challenge takes over social media. Oh, the kids today. Remember that Tide eating contest? Or no, well, now, now. They're doing a condom challenge. You don't see anything wrong with the American people? I do. I really, really do. It's striking fear into parents as teenagers record themselves danger dangerously snorting the rubbers and pulling them through their throats. WTF? 
unusual forms of nightmare antibiotic resistant bacteria detected in 27 states. How could this be? Yes. How many articles did we see, I don't know, five years ago? Proclaiming the end of the antibiotic era. We were on our own to fight off germs. Antibiotics were no longer working, but now we've got bacteria growing that is resistant to antibiotics. And how many? Ooh, 200. Jesus. More than 200 rare antibiotic resistant genes were found in nightmare bacteria that was tested in 2017. This is what a doctor at the CDC said. I was surprised by the numbers <laughs> we found. Why? Dr. Ann Shushchat, Shushchat, the principal deputy director of the CDC. Why are you surprised? Considering mad scientists have taken over our food supply. Oh, and all of that stuff. Mm, bacteria and the aluminum and barium and strontium and all of that stuff falling down, falling down, you know, from those drones and planes that are doing that aerosol spraying and it's coming right down upon us. So why should you be surprised? Isn't it fascinating to live this time? Every day you walk around, you know you're being killed off, but you come across your fellow Americans who are living in really a fantasy land, Disneyland. They don't want to know anything. They don't want to know what is so clear and in their face. So this report that was released, it focused on the new and highly resistant germs that have yet to spread widely. Have yet. Yet is the operative word. Will they get these germs to spread? You've got bacteria that could lie dormant and guess what frequencies, microwave frequencies can do. <gasps> they can bring from a dormant stage to a live stage those bacteria right out there. It's true. Two million Americans get infections from antibiotic resistance and 23,000 die from those infections each year. So, the unusual resistance, apparently it has spread to patients. Let me start the paragraph from the beginning. During follow-up screening, nearly one in every 10 contacts also tested positive, meaning the unusual resistance had spread to other patients and could have continued spreading if left undetected. Hmm. So then this deputy director at the CDC said, it is unknown how frequently asymptomatic carriers spread the disease to uninfected people. That sounds airborne. And it does seem to me that if one in 10 tested positive and they were asymptomatic, well, they were spreading it to other people they too could be asymptomatic and spread it to more people. Hmm. Well, it wasn't just a problem in one or two states. No, no. These 221 rare genes were found in isolates, isolates gathered in 27 states from infection samples. That included pneumonia, bloodstream infections, and urinary tract infections. Oh, well, it seems that there's a whole range 
of sickness that Americans can be experiencing from these anti-resistant germs, these bacteria. Okay. How many comments have I received from subscribers who were saying that they were absolutely fine? Many say they're, you know, <clears throat> they're into working out, they eat right, they're very, very healthy, and then suddenly they got what they thought was the flu, and then it was pneumonia. And it took them a really long time to recover. Yeah, okay. Well, let's listen to this. WKBN reports that police in Youngstown, Ohio, say that they received 14 calls in March from homeowners reporting strange activity by raccoons. The animals have been spotted standing upright on their back legs and showing off their fangs. The Ohio Department of Natural... All right, I'm going to... I I don't know what is happening with any of my... Oh, my computer is... It's gone berserk. It says the audio service is not running. I just wanted to turn it up a little. And this is now my audio. How did this happen? I don't even do anything. And it just... These things happen. So I can't turn up my audio? Don't you love my videos? Aren't they really cool? Okay. So I can't turn up my audio. <laughs> ah, wow, man. This is quite a trip. Well, let me just then read CBS Local. Police in Youngstown, Ohio, had more than crime to deal with over the last month. The city has reportedly been invaded by a wave of zombie-like raccoons who have terrified local residents. Now, uh, was it a year ago that I posted a video of animals that didn't have rabies, but they were scaring residents, so they were just being shot and killed. All right, maybe they have been infected with one of the 221 germs, bacteria, genes, but, you know, the crows here, <laughs> I, I, what am I, going on about a year living here, a little over, under, never before have the crows come right up to my front door, to my windows, and now they are. And tonight, it did get a little like, hmm, what the hell is going on? Where I saw about five of them right outside my window. And in the morning, they seemed to be looking for food right outside. Are animals going berserk? Will they finally get back at humans? Perhaps. And you know what? They could release some kind of really horrible uh, bacteria or rabies. Unleash it into wildlife. And suddenly, human beings are getting attacked. They could set off frequencies and make them mad. So yeah, apparently they are standing up on their hind legs, which I've never seen a raccoon do before, and they do do it. They do do it. So that is normal behavior. But the showing of the teeth, and then he would fall over backward, go into almost a comatose condition. Well, huh, that sounds a little odd, especially since these animals are nocturnal. All right, let's just do this, okay? Uh, Arkansas judge rules six farmers can spray controversial chemical. Yes, farmers want to spray 
a chemical that has been blamed for hurting millions of ankle, uh, a a acres, millions of acres in the United States, United States crops last year. All right, why would farmers so want to spray a chemical that was blamed for hurting millions of acres of U.S. crops last year? Why would they want to do that? I think Americans have lost their minds and they don't really care about much of anything. Fish depression is no joke. It's no joke. I'll link below to all of these articles, but it is no joke. It's heartbreaking. And for the first time ever, younger Americans are less optimistic than their parents. Gee, I wonder why.